Okay, so we're looking at uh, designing this tiny house, uh, you know, small little house to live in, and uh, low square footage is what we're looking at. So uh, we kind of started this the day before, so you should kind of see this. You should kind of have this drawn on your screen. I'm going to go back over it in case you missed it. Okay, so when you first open up AutoCAD, you want to make sure you go up here to the top, go down to Drawings, or Drawing Utilities, sorry, Drawing Utilities, then go to Units, okay, and it'll open up a little dialog box. Hope mine move way over here, so we'll bring it over on the screen. So uh, there's a dialog box. So I want to make sure, it's probably set to decimal or something, make sure it says Architectural, okay, so you're drawing in feet and inches, okay, most important. Then you just Click on it, click OK, and it'll take it. Okay, so, uh, <coughs> sorry, excuse me. The, um, so we want to draw this one wall right here, and then we're going to add, you know, this is like a side view of the building, and so we'll draw that in too later on. But uh, we'll get this one drawn in first. So uh, looking at the side here. So easiest way to do it, I'm going to just come up here and draw the whole thing kind of over again, so in case some missed it yesterday. And uh, I'm going to just come across. And all I did was pick line command, okay? Come over here and click. So I picked a spot, and I'm gonna drag it over, and you're gonna see it appearing. The numbers right there appear 32 feet, whatever, 36 feet. So I want 24 feet. So I'm gonna type in 24, and then I'm gonna put in the foot mark. It's next to the enter key, okay? It's one little dash like that you see on the screen, okay? So then I'm gonna hit enter. Then I'm gonna go up 8 feet. So make sure you type in 8 and the little foot mark and hit enter. It's right next to the enter key. And um, a couple ways you can do it. You can type in 24 again, 24 feet, and hit enter. Do like that, okay? So there's my one wall right there. So basically we'll have two walls like that, and then we'll have two smaller ones on each end to make up our little building. So you know, one like this, one bigger. Yeah, okay, so whatever. But we'll have the walls. So then I wanted to uh, I want to offset this and kind of create my two by four structure. So I know it's two inches thick. So all I got to do is, if you notice, I went up here and hit offset. It's in the modify area right here. There's offset. Okay, click on that, and it's going to say specify offset distance. So I'm going to hit two inches because two by four is laying on its side is two inches thick. Okay. So and that's what we're going to kind of, and so I'm clicking on the line, I'm going to bring it to the inside, click on the line, and the, the side I want it to offset, I'm just going to click it that direction again, okay? So that makes my little, what's going to be like my little wall and everything. Okay, so I'm going to go and clean up the corners now. And so the easiest way to kind of clean up the or corners, kind of fast and easy, click on trim, select everything that makes up. So I select the two lines I want to trim. I'm going to hit enter, and I'm going to pick that right there, okay? And, um, and I want to be able to copy these across, and so I need to basically, another way to um, trim things or to move things around is just click on it and then push the little deals up, okay? Just push it up. Those are called grips or something like that. And so you just click on it and push them up, and then you're left with this nice little 2 by 4 look. And then you can go with the line and you can use like endpoint to endpoint, you know, and draw a line across there. Anytime you get stuck on something, you can hit escape on the keyboard, and it should show up like cancel, cancel. That's you're escaping, so you escaped out of everything. Um, I also want to make sure your midpoint is turned on. So right here next to the little blue square, make sure the blue square is highlighted. It should be blue and not a gray color like the one next to it or anything else. Click on the little blue square, click on midpoint, and make, make sure, sure it's active, and I'll show you why in just a minute. So I want to draw a little line across here, okay? So that way it sees this just as a line right here, and there's not anything else there. So then I'm going to go line, and see there's the midpoint. So it'll pick the midpoint now, and then these are the little construction lines. This line here is just a construction line. So I went on the midpoint of that and just draw it down. Then I'm going to offset it in just a minute. Let me go up here and clean this so... The same thing we did for the other side, I'm going to do here too. So I'm going to do trim. And then I'm going to select what I want to trim. And I'm going to trim that off instead of having to move it this time. So I'm going to hit enter. And I'll pick that piece, pick that piece. And I don't need that one. I think that'll be fine. Okay. So you just pick those, hit enter to get out of it. 
It should clean it all up nice and neat and, uh, and it's ready to go. Okay, so now I'm going to copy these over. And I could trim that up in a minute. So I'm going to copy this over all the way across and offset it, or actually copy it. But I'm going to offset these little construction lines. And remember from your lessons, every 16 inches. So I'm going to set, so I click on offset. And it's going to say specify offset distance. I'm going to type in 16 for 16 inches. Don't put a foot mark, 16 inches. Okay. And then I'm going to offset this all the way across. Oops. Okay. And these are just little construction lines, so we'll get rid of these in just a minute. So I'm just clicking on it and moving it. Uh, click on it with the cursor, and then move your line, move your cursor over, and it just creates the next one. Okay. And just click. So I'm clicking, move it over, click again, click. So I'm picking it, selecting. It's kind of crazy. But just like that. Okay, so in the last one, if it's a little bit off, is okay, because I put that one on center over here. Okay, so this one should be on center too at 16 inches. Okay, so then I want to be able to copy this, so I'm going to kind of get it where I can see it, you know, good in the picture, good in the video, or good in the picture. And so I can kind of see the whole thing as I'm working on it. I'm going to do copy, and I'm going to pick my two lines. Okay, so that's what I want to copy is those two lines that make up the stud wall. I'm going to hit enter. And it's going to ask for a base point. So I'm going to pick right down here at the bottom of the wall, okay? Or right there at that midpoint that I created for. So see, then it'll, just, it'll connect to each one of those. Everything's going to be nice and neat and straight. And I can zoom out a little bit. I can push down on the little rolling mouse and a little roller. So if you want to zoom in, you can do that by rolling it. If you hold down on it like this, it moves it around like pan is what it's called. So I can zoom in so you can see that a little bit better. So I'm just picking those over and over again. And um, there's other ways to do this, but this is about the fast and easiest way to do it for beginners. Okay, whoops, sorry, I got stuff popping up on me. Okay, so then there's my little wall. And I'm just gonna trim up these little sides over here and clean it up a little bit. So I'm gonna do trim. I'm gonna select this corner, hit enter. And so I'll have a board run all the way this way, so I just need to turn it up like that, so very easily. And then come up here, so I don't need this, so I could just click on it, and then drag it down and hit that intersection, and then just click off of it. Hit escape, or hit, hit escape on the keyboard, get out of command. So then I want to get rid of these, so I'm going to just highlight them like that, and then I can hit delete, get rid of all that. So there's the first wall, all done, ready to go. And then we're going to print this. It'll print out exactly the size of our material and everything. It'll be ready to go. Okay. All right. So that's video number one, building the tiny house wall.